Good morning and happy Monday. So um, if you guys don't know this by now, Mondays are my favorite day. And so when I woke up this morning, uh, there was a quote that I came across and I think this fits um, what I do so perfectly and I hope it fits in well with what some of you guys do in your daily life or maybe your job routine and such. But um, I'm trying to see if I'm live yet. There we are. Okay, so the quote was something like, um, if you do what you love or are doing what you love, you'll never struggle with a Monday again. And I thought, oh, I love that because Mondays are my favorite day of the week and um, I love what I do and I love sharing that with you guys too. So I love how that uh, saying ties together and it's Monday, so that's probably why it was posted today and I came across it. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for joining in. So today I'm going to be starting card number one for Ruth Rempel's virtual stamp party. And here's my secret, I think I'm gonna do two cards today, one now and one this afternoon to kind of catch up with stamp camp. So I'm at home today catching up on a lot of things after being um, out in the field most of last week. And so um, I'm excited about stamping and I'm excited about cleaning for the first time in a long time. So let me show you uh, today's card that I'm doing for Ruth's virtual party. It's a sympathy card. Oops. Let's see, I feel like the ribbon's already a little skewed or whatever, using the Dove of Hope stamp set. So um, lately I've needed a lot of sympathy cards. I've had a couple aunts pass away in the past month and um, and so many of you have said, hey, when you send uh, or do stamp camp, could you maybe do one or two sympathy cards? And that's usually a request I get every single month. So it's nothing that we ever um, like to have on hand um, or, you know what I mean, but it, it's good to have on hand because many times it's unexpected and it's always nice to have that supply so that you have those on the ready for occasions like that. And so, um, and I know when I would have my in-person events and I have my card boxes here for people to shuffle through and buy uh, the cards that I've made, I can never keep my sympathy slot filled. That's the first thing to go out of all of my occasions too. So I thought, well, let's bring that to you. And another reason, another couple reasons why I'm doing it is um, Ruth um, is the hostess and she has already purchased the Dove of Hope bundle. It's a gorgeous Christmas uh, stamp set or, or bundle and I've been doing things with it already and the second thing is I was able to tie in some of the designer series paper that's on sale. So the one that I'm using today is the Peony Garden designer series paper. So um, the Peony kind of concentrates on some grays and some uh, light subtle pink, uh, the petal pink. And so I'll get started by moving my camera around for you guys. Oops. here and I have my whole stack I'm I was running just a few minutes late and I think it was because I was gathering my stack here and I always like to show things on top and um, it just kind of kept adding up and adding up so um, that's how it came to be so once again here is today's card showing it to you um, like the right way not the mirrored image okay so um, like I said I like to start by showing you the paper that's on sale and this is the peony garden so instead of being 1150 it is 978 and there's lots of great beautiful um, papers and prints like I said a lot of basic gray gray granite and the petal pink and I was toying with using this today but I just thought okay let's do something um, maybe with the other kind of um, solid print and such. So lots of floral, but they're all backed with kind of a really um, nice general pattern there too. So um, I think I'm gonna have to buy some more of that before the sale's done um, at the end of the month because I just have a few pieces left. So this is the one that I'm using. So kind of busy on this side. I've seen some people just color in the little buds there, but I'm using kind of this more neutral pattern. I don't know if the camera will pick it up very well. It usually doesn't. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining in there we go so um I, as i was getting ready to use this too i thought this would make a great background pattern for um, masculine cards too just because it's kind of um just that nice masculine color and pattern 
So that is what I'm pulling from that package of designer series paper. And then the focus, like I said, is going to be um, from the holiday catalog here. I like to show kind of the cover because sometimes every once in a while, customers will um, pick up the wrong catalog. They'll see holiday things, but it might be from last year. Hi, Karen, haven't seen you for a while. And hello, Barb. So this is coming from the, uh, the holiday catalog or August through December catalog. And I'm focusing on Dove of Hope bundle, which looks very Christmassy here. And I'll be honest, it was the first stamp set that I looked at in the whole entire catalog or bundle, I should say, and said, that's my number one thing that I wanna get. Of course, I got lots more things, but that was the first thing on my list. Um, but I'm actually using three stamps for today's card, and they're all from three different stamp sets. So um, the the dies that I'm using are from that last bundle I showed, and then also in the annual catalog, I'm going to pull in one of the dies from Painted Labels um, on page 177 as well. So these are the three stamp sets. <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever done three in one card for you guys because I don't want to overwhelm you or make you feel ever like you have to just keep purchasing things just to have things, but um, a lot of you might have all of these things, so you go, this is great. So Dove of Hope, I'm using the Dove here. Peaceful Moments, I'm using the With Deepest Sympathy. And then Here's a Card is one of my favorite versatile stamp sets because it has so many different verses for so many different occasions. And so I'm using the words cannot express the deep sorrow felt on your behalf out of that. So yeah, three stamp sets, a little bit um, much, but I hope that it all comes together in a good way for you guys um, as I do the card. Okay, so like I said, once again, today is Ruth's um, uh, first card for her virtual party. Ruth is a sweet gal from Wyndham, and she's been making cards forever. So she was so hesitant about um, kind of having this party get put together for her. And I said, I would love to. I think you should. And so I hope that she is as excited about it, um, too, just to have um, some inspiration, too, for you guys. So I think to start out, I am going to stamp out <clears throat> the sympathy um, kind of badge or label and that dove. So um, the only ink pad that I'm using um, is the gray granite ink pad. So I'm just going to stamp out the one dove here. Um, a lot of times I just use the dies to make my dove from that bundle because that makes a great dove just without even stamping. It's just the dies that kind of cut it out. So gray granite, I feel like I should mention this in case it happens to you. Every time I stamp this out, I feel like it has a little bit of a brown tinge or tone to it. I'm trying to see if you can even see the difference. So I feel like it looks brown until it dries and then it looks more of the gray granite, kind of a cement, which granite kind of comes into that um, category. So if you get your ink pad and it looks kind of brown, just wait and as it dries, it'll get better. Okay, so the um, other die set that I'm using besides the detailed um, dove, and I never know if the sound quality is super, so I always like to show you exactly the name here. So detailed dove dies is how I'm going to cut out the Dove, and then I'm going to also use the painted labels dies. And um, the one die that I almost used out of here, this has been really popular, but not this one, kind of gives a swirly, twiny look with a solid inside. This one um, is a great die too, and it would have fit um, this perfectly. So if you're ever wondering too, kind of like how you'll know if that'll fit or not, well, the sentiments are shown the exact size. So you can always just kind of set that over top and go, yep, that'll fit. So that's kind of a little thing, but I kind of wanted to go a little bit larger. And so I went with the larger die from that um, peaceful moments, or excuse me, painted labels dies. Hi, Laura. Thanks for joining in. Okay, so I'll set those aside and scoot over my cutting machine here. So I think I should be able to cut both of these at the same time because I'm just going to do this and stamp later, which is unusual for me. So I'm going to line up my dove here like so. And 
I'm just going to lay that label on there and put both of those through at the same time. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done kind of a morning um, Facebook Live, so it's like I feel like every time I do a different time, I reach different people, and it's always kind of fun to see different names pop up, so fun for that. Okay, so I've got those two pieces, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and start doing some assembly with my card. So um, first I'm going to stamp out the with the deepest sympathy sentiment, and this is really easy to get centered on my label. I'm going to offset it here so that I leave plenty of room for the dove to be popped up over here. And I'm just taking, with my card base being four and a quarter by five and a half, I'm taking a four inch by five and a quarter piece of that uh, Peony Garden Designer Series paper that's on sale. Just cutting a strip of that or chunk and putting that right on top, like so. Okay, and then um, next, I think I'm ready to do the sentiment. I'm just going to put that kind of in the middle, like so. And make sure it's easy to line up there. I just wanna make sure it is lined up. And then I have um, this pretty, pretty ribbon. And this is gray granite shimmer ribbon. And it's beautiful. I love how the camera's picking that up. So very shimmery ribbon in the gray granite color. And so um, I usually save things like this for special occasions. Um, and a lot of times like uh, for uh, funerals and different things, sympathy cards. It is a very special occasion for the family and the celebration of life. So having special ribbon for that is always nice too. Makes the family feel special. And I do not like how that's twisted. Sometimes I can hide that underneath a layer, um, but this is gonna go right in the inside and be visible. So I'm going to see, since I didn't tie it super tight, if I can undo that and you guys are probably like yes she uses so much ribbon she makes tying look easy and it's not so finally that happened to her okay gonna start over <laughs> all right and once again i'm just going to tie a knot not a bow for this and i always um leave my ribbon on my spool because i feel like that gives me more control to use lots of ribbon with my big fingers and um there, that turned out better. And then I just cut it right off from the spool here. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of an angle and a little bit of an angle, like so. All right, and then, oops, if it ever happens, like this kind of is, it's not terrible, but I always like to show you my little tip or trick. I always have glue dots on the ready, so I'm just going to pull off one glue dot here and I'm just gonna tuck that in a little bit away from my knot so that it lays flat going into the knot, like so. There, and then I'll just give it a much more professional look as it lays flat there. Um, hi, Connie, thanks for joining in. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is show you a technique, um, or not, more of a tutorial, I guess, a product tutorial. So I don't know if you guys <clears throat> purchased these or have these, but these are, um, are new with the annual catalog. So back from May, which isn't that long ago, but not brand new, adhesive sheets. So this nice um, package here, I'm trying to show the size, and they're in the back um, with the adhesive um, page in the annual catalog. So I have this whole sheet here, and I'm only going to need to um, adhere that to this one inch strip to make this little intricate part. So I'm gonna show you the card again so you'll know what I'm doing. So this little die here is from the Dove of Hope bundle and it's very intricate. So yes, I could put a few glue dots along there and um, hope that they don't get sticky out and around where they should be. But I thought this is a perfect day to show you guys how I use my adhesive sheets. So I'm just going to trim off just a layer like 
less than an inch, just so I have a little bit more cardstock showing than actual adhesive sheets. And then you can just take and make sure you have the right side, and they're kind of sectioned off like sticker sheets here. So I'm just going to pull this off, and this is the part I'm going to use, not the strip. And I'm going to put that on my strip of cardstock here, which is gray granite. And I'm going to just do all three of them right away, um, just because I know I'm going to need them. Pretty sticky stuff here, so it kind of gets on my fingers. And I'm leaving this gap on purpose in between there, and I'll show you why. So um, next, let's see. Actually, should I add more right away? I'm going to do two of these. So yeah, I'm just going to grab one that I kind of pre-cut already. That way I don't have to keep doing this to show you. So I'll leave another gap, put that on there. So that's all I need for my adhesive sheet to make my life so much easier. Hello, Donna. How are you? So I think this will be fun for you guys to see. This is one of those occasions where when I do my in-person events like Stamp Camp, and there's a lot of you, it's hard for me to show you things like this, but doing these videos will help. So now I put that sticky um, adhesive sheet down, and I'm just going to cut here on, whoops, no, there's my, here we go. I thought I was missing a layer, it's over here. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down on my like one inch strip there and cut that through and because it's more detailed then I'll do it back and forth okay and got that whoops and some of it's already peeling off I didn't have that happen but that's okay there's nothing wrong with that because sometimes the deal is trying to get that off so um so then you can just take and that's why okay that's why I left the gaps too so one whole section has come off but having the gap allows you to kind of have a tool to pick up and pull that off too so um, that makes it easier to take that off and I'm just going to set that aside and you wouldn't believe how many times I have wanted in my stamp camp settings um, when there's a larger group and I love to have things cut out ahead of time you wouldn't believe how many times I've wanted to use these adhesive sheets for um, the group just to have um, especially the really detailed dyes all done up ahead of time but they're sticky, so I can't have a whole pile of them, or it would be this whole sticky mess um, in a pile, and especially if I use them only on my detailed dies, things would probably get ripped and torn very easily too. So this is fun to be able to show you how these adhesive sheets work. And obviously, I'm just needing a strip, so that's why I cut a strip, but um, it's a very nice large piece, so that works out great. Okay, so this one, none of the adhesive sheet came off, but you can see where I've got a gap here in between and a gap there. So with my take your pick tool, I'm just going to kind of pry underneath and it does come off really easy. So sometimes what's nice too is all those extra pieces that you don't need um, uh, because they're the details that are being cut out then it helps to get rid of some of those too. So I'm just gonna pop out some of those. A lot of them did come out like so. I love my take your pick tool for that reason. Okay, so this is super sticky. So I knew this would be a, just a little bit longer video, but hopefully worth it just so I could show you, um, not only you know show you the product, but show you how to use the product because that's half the fun of using stuff that maybe you haven't used before is learning how to use it instead of just seeing it in the catalog. So then this little swag, I'm just going to center. Um, and that's why I put on my ribbon first, because as I did this card, I wasn't as happy. I kind of centered it between the sides, but then when I put the ribbon on, it looks like it's kind of too far over. So putting this ribbon on first, now I can kind of center my swag between the ribbon edge 
and um, the edge of the card there, the designer series paper. So this whole thing is nice and sticky. I'm just gonna get rid of one little extra piece there. And this I'm just going to lay across the bottom there. So it all sticks without having any glue. Um, and I love our fine tip glue uh, pen and that would work too, but I thought, oh, let's try something new and different. So then I'm just going to add on the Dove. Um, which is a great sign of peace during a time like a uh, sympathy card would need. And I'm just going to put that on with some dimensionals. And it's also good to have your ribbon on ahead of time because the dove's going to kind of pop up and over the, um, the ribbon. And so that way the ribbon's on and you don't have to worry about where the adhesive or dimensionals are the ribbon will be already in place. Okay, I'm just gonna take off that sticker there. There we go. And as I place it, I wanna make sure it doesn't go off the side of the card. So we have the dove there. And um, you could use different colors, obviously, to create this card, but I love the neutral colors. So it could be for a male or female and um, uh, sympathy card like so and then I'm just going to finish the inside with my four by five and a quarter piece of whisper white and this is from the stamp set here's a card and it just states words cannot express the deep sorrow felt on your behalf so I'm just going to stamp that out in that same gray granite and I'm just gonna take and tape that down for the inside. Yeah, usually I say like wedding cards and sympathy cards can almost be interchanged because of the papers, the accessories used and different things. But I think this might be the first time I've actually um, used a Christmas stamp set for a sympathy card, but I really, really like that so that is rules card number one for her virtual party so i hope um it, i didn't drag on too long whenever i um start like uh to think about like using a new product for you guys i want to be really thorough to help you use it um in case you guys purchase it then this can be looked back on as a little bit of a tutorial so that you don't have to learn it always yourself i always appreciate it when i can see something and don't have to figure it out myself or even waste materials because I didn't do it right um, also. So hopefully that'll help you with using those new adhesive sheets that we have in the annual catalog. I do know when the annual catalog came out in May, that was one of the more popular um, things that people purchased because we did sell them for a while and then we didn't and now they're back in. So that's great. So like I said, happy Monday. Um, Card number one for Ruth Rumpel's virtual party. And so how you can um, help support her and get the card um, yourself too is if you place an order of minimum $25, then um, you'll get all three cards that I'm making for Ruth. So you'll get today's card and then the card that I'll make tomorrow and Wednesday for her party. So that'll be a thank you um, from both Ruth and I for ordering through her party and the host codes there. Next, I'm going to upload the card and that will have her host code there too so you don't have to try and catch it um, while I have it covered up most of the time during my demo. So I'll have all the list of supplies uh, that I use today to make the card listed as soon as I upload the card too. And like I said, um, be watching because this afternoon I want to try and make another card to kind of get back on track with my October virtual stamp camp too. So um, I don't know if I've ever done a double day, but um, it's Monday. So I usually have a lot of inspiration and a lot of energy to be able to do that. So if you ever have any questions, on any of the products or anything that I've done while doing the demos, please let me know because this is my full-time gig and I love helping you guys out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.